Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our second episode of our Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones Let's Play. Today, we are going to pick up right where we left off at uh, Chapter 2. And we left off basically at the beginning because we had just finished Chapter 1. Uh, you'll probably all remember this scene right here. So we just unlocked the map, and the map shows all of Magfa. And it's pretty awesome because you can save and do kind of all kinds of stuff, like buy things, um, like from shops. So yes, there are shops, uh, like I can't really buy anything here. Uh, let's see, I can't buy anything here because there's no shops, but on this next one, I believe there is a shop. So we'll be able to buy things, which is super useful because weapons don't just come around so easily without buying them. But that's all well and good. Let's continue on and go to Eid, because this is where we go. King Hayden apologizes for being unable to spare soldiers. However, he does provide Erica with a small but trusted party of vassals. Erica is grateful for the king's aid. Chasing rumors of her brother, she sets out for Grado. By the way, Grado is the aggressor in this rumor. The group's first stop is the remote village of Eid, which was, until very recently, a part of Renee. Here, Erica sees the devastation of Renee with her own eyes. I absolutely love this chapter, by the way, because one of my favorite units in this game is introduced. You'll see in a moment, though. Seth has mapped out a route for us. We'll travel south of Renee and pass through Seraphiu into Grado territory. Hmm, that would be a sensible plan. Assuming, of course, that we can avoid any run-ins with Grado soldiers. Princess Erica, may I have your leave to scout ahead? From the sky, I'll have a better chance of spotting any nearby troops. We're yours to command, Your Highness. Will you give us your permission? Yes, of course. Keep an eye out for enemy bowmen, though, Vanessa. Yes, Your Highness, I shall. I shall prove myself worthy of the honor of your trust. She seems very sincere. Sincere, yes, quite. Hey, boss, we found more villages ripe for the picking. One, two, three. Ah, ha, ha, I love a good war. With all these soldiers preoccupied, we're free to pillage as we see. Please. Right. Boat. Yeah, in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. I'm on it. Stupid banditos. Dad, bandits approaching. Hmm. I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. Let's start with that village there. Go to it, boys. It's all yours. Cut down anyone fool enough to get in your way. I'm heading west around the mountains to the other villages. No! Villages getting destroyed is not good. Ugh. Ross, what is it? What's wrong? It's nothing. It's just a scratch. You're a warrior, Dad, and I'm your son. I won't be beaten so easily. Don't risk yourself so foolishly. We need to get you some help. Please, someone help my son! <clears throat> Ross is a journeyman, and also one of my favorite units. Uh, basically, they can turn into a couple different units when they reach level 10. And that's super cool. And uh, Ross also has, like, one of the coolest weapons, the hatchet, which is both a short and long-range axe. Anyway, uh, Garcia is also really cool. Um, so, yeah. This is telling me about, uh, class upgrades. Ah, this looks serious. I must report back to Princess Erica at once. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? <laughs> we have arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly and attract as little attention as possible, but... But I cannot stand by and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how fair are the villagers? I spotted one injured person. He appears to be just a child. Father Mulder, can your staff help him? Well, yes, I can heal his injuries with my staff, but I cannot do it from here. He's too far away. I must be near him. 
Princess, please leave this to me. I shall bring the boy here. And now we learn about flying units, which are uh, Pegasus Knights and Dragon Knights. So yeah, don't want to get shot at. All right, Vanessa, it's up to you. Very well, I'm off. Yep. And now we're learning how to rescue people. Which you can already know how to do, but you know, for the sake of it all. All right, we're gonna rescue Ross. Rescue, yeah. Hey! Calm down, lad. Keep scrubbing and I may drop you. I'm carrying you to the other side of these mountains. Wait, Dad! Don't worry about me. Go! I'll bold these scum here. Take care of Ross. Dad! Yep. And now I can continue moving. Yep, I'm gonna go here. Yep. And now I'm gonna bring Mulder over because... Nope. Yep. And just wait. Again, the tutorial stuff is kind of uh, iffy, but like it helps you learn the game if you've never done it before. I'll head to the nearest village and warn them about the bandits. Yep, villages are super important to visit. I guess I have to go to this one. They give you stuff just like houses, but more often. This is terrible. What are we going to do? These bandits are so close. If we can't find some way to protect ourselves, the village is doomed. Perhaps... People, listen to me. You must close the village gates immediately. Hurry, before the bandits arrive. Who are you? If you aren't from one of the neighboring towns, are you? And your weapons give you away. You're no peasant. I am Err. My name is Arena. I'm a mercenary. A mercenary named Arena, is it? There's more to you than that, I feel. But don't worry. It's none of my affair. I haven't told you who I am yet. I am Selina, a general in Grado's army. Ah! I is something wrong? No, uh, nothing. It looks like these villagers have some bandit troubles. I would like to help, but I have orders. I'm to leave for the capital immediately, and I cannot stay. You're armed, and you claim to be mercenaries. Will you help them? Um, is there a problem? No, of course I'll help them. It's just... You're one of Grado's generals. Why? These aren't soldiers. They're people. Should they suffer because their leaders fight? I've petitioned your aid. Take this as payment. Yay, red gem. They're worth money. Sometimes you'll get... Yep. You get. Uh, you can sometimes get uh, allies by visiting villages too. So, villages are always going to be on my top priority. And yes, an armory, which is uh, a shop. Well, no, it's an armory. Shops and armories are different. Armories sell weapons, shops sell tomes and vulneries and things like that. So, that's all we need to know. Hopefully it'll let me do what I want now. Ah, uh, Gillian, also one of my favorite units. But, uh, he's, he's a bit slow. Also, the map is pretty big. And we gotta hurry down to this village to protect it, because it's got a good item in it, if I remember correctly. But I will send, uh, nope. Franz down there, hopefully. All right, friends, you're going with Gilliam. Don't kill Garcia. Okay, we're good. Garcia is going into the fort, which is good. Yeah, hand axes are long range, but um, they're pretty inaccurate. All right, Vanessa, I need you to like. I'm not going to have a choice. Yeah. Yep. I brought the boy. Father Mulder, please hear his wounds. Really? I got I got it. Okay. Here. Sure. Okay, yeah. Well, this is also how to learn use a staff. And uh staff. Heal. There we go. Ross! Yay! You're healed, buddy! And Mulder gets some experience. That's the only way Mulder's gonna get experience is by healing people. My wound! It's gone! Yes, it is. Now try to keep yourself out of harm's way. Yep. Yep. Now I gotta talk to him and he's gonna become my unit! Woo! I think. Hey, listen! My village is being attacked by bandits! My name's Ross. 
Come on, you have to help me wipe these thugs out. All right, just, just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Leave the villages to us. We'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boy somewhere safe. No, wait, I'm going to fight too. But my father is on, out there all alone fighting those bandits. I've got to get him back as quickly as possible. I'm the son of the great Garcia. As long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever defeat me. All right, I can see you're not going to be swayed. But you must promise you will stay close to us. Yay. Yep, I gotta basically get uh, Ross to talk to him. But uh, Ross isn't going anywhere anytime soon. But Ross will start moving towards the enemy. Vanessa will rescue him, don't worry. There we go, visiting. The most wonderful man rescued me. He was dressed like a mercenary, but he had an air of elegance about him. He gave me this elixir. I'm sure it will help you in the battlefield. An elixir is amazing because it heals all your wounds. Uh, but it's got a really limited use. And the supply, by the way, is because he, Seth is next to Erica. And Erica is the leader of the convoy slash the leader of everything. So you can store items with Erica. All right, Gilliam. We're moving down to do some fighting. You too, friends. Uh, I could buy things. Uh, but I'm not going to, so... Let's see. I think the armory has a bonus, yeah. Not as good as the forest, though. But I'm gonna protect Ross. Uh, nope. Ah, slim swords are good, but they're weak. Uh, same as slim lances. Um, they basically have an increased critical and a higher to hit. Uh, what do you have? You have your sword. I am messing up all of my uh, items today. See? Yeah, good job, friends. Take that cutthroat out. Or, or don't. I mean, that's cool, too. <laughs> and, yeah, this is not what I wanted. Oh. Yeah... As I said, axes beat lances, and even though I'm in a mountain, which provides really good defense, yeah. that hand axe is also really inaccurate. <laughs> yep. All right, we got to defeat all the enemies. All right, we got this. Yep, yep. Things I already told you, but you know it's cool. All right, Gilliam. Nope, we're gonna have Ross do it. Uh, no, we need more damage on him. Darn. Uh... Okay, it looks like, uh... Uh... I don't know. Alright, I'll put Franz here. Then I will... I don't know. Vanessa's gonna definitely rescue Garcia and get over here so that everybody can be healed. Um, Erica could use some experience. I don't remember if... Uh, basically, it doesn't matter if I buy now or later because... Um, yeah, that was a silly mistake. All right. Uh, it doesn't matter, though, because I can buy later. All right, Ross. Hit him with a hatchet. Good job, buddy. Hatchets are awesome, and I keep the hatchet until the last possible second. All right, Seth. Take Garcia. Drop Garcia. And let's get a move on over here. Gilliam, I guess it's up to you, buddy. Eh, I didn't think so. But you know what? He dodged too. That's cool. <laughs> and Mulder. Oh, you're not harmed. So, uh, Vanessa. Get some healing from Father Mulder. But she's really important. It is super important, by the way, to like make your staff users get leveled up. Um, they are super duper 
uh, important. And if you level them up, they learn to use light tomes, and light tomes are super good. Did we get an attack again? Oh, Franz is a little slower. All right. Let's see. Did he have a Volnery that I was gonna? Nope. Sorry. Nope. That's not the button either. All right. Yep. He used my Volnery. Darn. Well, Gilliam's gonna keep moving forward. Uh, Vanessa's kind of at a disadvantage on this entire map. Just in general. So... Yeah, you know what? It's worth it with the javelin to try to hit it. Whoa, Vanessa! That's a crit! Oh my word! Vanessa is proving herself this time. Uh, who is hurt and needs healing? Nobody yet. Um, okay, we need to talk to Garcia. Get Garcia on our team. Dad! Ross, boy, what did I tell you? What are you doing here? Don't worry about me. Hurry and get yourself to safety. Did you really think I have just run away while you fight, Dad? You taught me that fighters fight for what's important to them. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm fighting just like you. Ross. All right, listen to me. We'll cut our way out of here together. Cool, now I got my fighter man. Seth, I don't want you fighting anybody because uh, you already have enough experience. Meanwhile, Rapier time with Erica. Yeah, Erica will be fine. She's in a forest. Uh, how far can these guys go? Not very far, so I am not super worried. Uh, yeah, let's finish off this guy here. Good job, Franz. We need you some leveling. There we go. Alright, let's hope for a good level up, everybody. Eh, that's an okay level up. It's not great. Oh, I just realized. Oh, Vanessa got lucky. Yeah, that bowman needs to go away. And, uh, I think Franz is going to be the one to have to do it. As for you, Seth, I'm gonna put you down here. I I need to get to this village before I get rid of everybody. <laughs> uh, let's see, is everybody in good health? Unfortunately, oh, no, just friends. Unfortunately, it is looking that way, so Garcia, let's get you down to the action. Okay, stop using that vulnery, that is mine. Stupid cutthroat. I am very upset with him. Oh, good. Okay, hope for a good level up, everybody. Erica. Uh... Hey, that's not bad. Her strength needs to go up a little bit so that she does a little more damage, but... Eh. Details. ooh -hoo! With a crit for the win. Good job, Erica. She's coming in clutch. All right, hopefully you dodge this. Okay, yep, good, good. Uh, yeah, I might send Gilliam over there to, uh, take care of some business. Take care of some business, Gilliam. Okay, that's not gonna take care of all the business, but it's gonna take care of something. By the way, archers can't attack right next to them, so that's, you know, I guess a benefit. Um, uh, in this case, it might be better to let them come to us. Yep, I'm thinking it's better for them to come to us, except for Seth needs to go down there. Uh, boy. Alright. Oh, he'll take out that guy. Alright, take him out. Guaranteed taking him out because of that 100% chance to hit. Alrighty there. Good job, Franz. And Seth. Let's wait here. Erica, get your butt over here. Uh, you know, Vanessa. Take out your deadly foe. With the slum lines, please. 
All right, 95% chance. Okay, good. We're good to go. That archer is doomed. And Vanessa's close to a level up. And uh, Ross. <laughs> All right, Ross. Anybody need healing? Yeah, Erica does. Sweet. Yeah, it's a little bit of a waste to use my staff now. But uh, the benefits are experience because he really needs that level up. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. Who are you? Okay. I am going to attack you with my sword. And do a really good job. Good job, Franz. You take out Bone. Oh, good. He didn't go after the village. Woo! And Fra Franz is the MV MVP here. Franz has taken out most of the bandits all on his own. So, that is good news. And I got a one use vulnerary. <laughs> oh, Franz can make it to the village. Can set. Hey, we get to go to the village! Hmm. What's that? What is all the ruckus? What? what bandits? Spread the word, everyone. Close the village gates. Thank you for warning me. Please accept this small token. Pure water should be useful later. Pure water, um, by the way, it increases, uh, I believe, your magic defense. Or resistance is what they call it. <laughs> Uh, who do I want to take part in this attack? Uh, no. Let's see if Garcia can do it. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, not. Nah. We're going to go with not. Nah. Uh, Mulder, can you get down to heal him? New. No. How about Vanessa gives it a shot? Nope, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> nope. Alright, uh. Let's get you over here and attack. Yeah, Franz, you might do it. Franz, I believe in you, buddy. I believe in you. I believed in you, Franz, and you did it. Right. <laughs> Blast! And a level up for Franz, number two. Alright. Come on. Ooh, what a good level up, buddy. Sweet. You saved my son. I owe you my thanks. It's not necessary. Hold a moment. Aren't you the Prick Garcia? You fought for Rene, didn't you? Seth, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for Rene until around ten years ago. When I was recruited, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for her name. Master Garcia, you must know the peril our homeland faces right now. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength to Renee once again? I'm sorry. I'm retired now. I'm not a soldier anymore. It's a decision I made long ago. Master Garcia. When I was a soldier, I lived with my life fighting for my country's honor. I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring nobles. When my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she had left behind. At that moment, I finally realized what my duty had cost me. I stood at my wife's grave and promised her I would be a father to our son. I'm done with armies, I'm done with fighting, except to protect my son. I have no regrets, I'm the boy's father. You, you, you blasted fool! Father, what's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross? If you're not going, then I will. I'm a fighter. I know I can do this. Ross, what are you saying? I... Dad, please, listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me. I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're... You're a warrior at heart. You can't give that up and be happy. Look. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior like you. You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. Ross. You want to challenge me, Father? I'm a fighter, the best in all of Eid. I'm not going to lose to you. I'm not going to lose to anyone. You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. Sir Seth, if these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you. 
dad. Looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. Doesn't need my help. I've raised him as best I could. But he's right. I have nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad! Thank you so much for your help. Please stay the night and rest. We would if we could, but we have much to do and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, well. My, that is a splendid bracelet to wear. Thank you, my father gave this to you. It's a wonderful gift, but you should be careful wearing such a valuable item so openly. Since Rene was invaded, things have become so dangerous around here. There are gold-hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. The most wicked are Basmus bandits. They are cruel beyond words. If you have something they want, your life is worth less than nothing. Just the other day, they assaulted some travelers and... Oh, it was awful. I... I can't believe such things. Oh, Rene is finished. Mark my words. The Greater's Empire is still in our future. Our only hope against them was that Prince Ephraim wouldn't prevail, but... Rumor has it that he's on the verge of being crushed by Grado's vast numbers. These are dark days. Travel with care. Ephraim. Flashback. It's time to start. Are you ready, Erica? Yes, Ephraim. Let's begin. Tell me, though. Why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. I don't like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problems without fighting. And yet... And yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I would rather not be such a burden to you in the future. So, I thought maybe I should learn to protect myself. I'm your brother. Brothers are supposed to protect their sisters. It's nothing for you to worry about. It's no cause for concern. Yes, but I am your sister. Sisters are supposed to worry about their brothers. So I would like to learn something of swordplay, if only a little. And maybe, someday, I can protect you in your time of need. So please, Ephraim. All right, all right. How could I say no? Honestly, once you get an idea in your head, that's it. I might as well give in. It's agreed. I'll teach you, but won't hold back because you're my sister. And I won't, and I want no complaining since we've started, Erica. Complain? Me? Never! Oops! Beg your pardon? Hey! Princess, are you alright? Yes, someone bumped into me is all. I was jarred. Hmm? Your Highness, where is your bracelet? My bracelet, it's gone. Where could it be? To that man? I'll find him! Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift from my father, but... Ephraim needs our help. I can't let sentimentality get in the way of my duty. No, Princess. We must retrieve your bracelet, regardless of cost. You cannot lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. And that was Chapter 2. And now, dear uh, audience of mine, we are going to do a little bit of shopping and then we're going to end the episode because we got through, an ep uh, through a chapter which was my entire goal. Yes. And, uh, yep, it's gonna let me shop, which is pretty good. Come on. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna enter that armory. And who needs weapons? Uh, Seth probably could do with, uh, an iron lance. Uh, just because I don't want to use my silver lance all up yet. Erica could definitely use with, um... I'm gonna say an iron sword, just because... Again, could use it. Um, oh, I got my vulnerary. Full. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, Vanessa right now is fine. Gilliam, I'm going to buy him a javelin. Uh, javelins are freaking awesome because they are ranged spears. And that's all you need to know. Uh, Seth should also have a javelin. Uh, but instead, Ross, I will buy an iron axe, um, just in case he learns to use it better. <laughs> He's not very good right now. We have to level him up. Garcia's pretty good. Again, I can always come back to this armory. Um, 
Yeah, no, I'm, I'm calling this pretty good. This will mentally be fine on Vanessa. Managing items, though. Uh, supply. We're going to give that uh, pure water. And I don't think there's much to take. No, there's there's not. Uh, let's see. Who needs to give stuff? Uh, nope. I want you to trade with... Does everybody have a vulnerary? Actually, yeah, no. Uh, I'm going to give that vulnerary to the uh, supply. Uh, I could give friends a uh, javelin. That might be a good idea. Alright, Franz, you're getting yourself a javelin. I like equipping all of my spear units with javelins because <laughs> then they can use it. Um, hey, you know what, Seth, you're getting a javelin too. Nope, I'm good to go. Alright, everybody's geared up, ready to go. And so, dear audience, that is where we're going to end it. If you enjoyed today's video, please, please, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the Frost Raven YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And if you really are feeling generous, why don't you go ahead to my Patreon page and become a patron. Um, I'm working on some cool new rewards, uh, so definitely keep an eye on the Patreon page. Anyway, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you have the best of weeks, and I'll see you next week for another Let's Play of the Sacred Stones. Mm -hmm.